Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about DHCP uh, V6 configuration in a relay mode. So, in our last video, we learned about uh, DHCP uh, V6 configuration where we have uh, these clients, DHCP client and DHCP server in the same network. We configure DHCP uh, IPv6 pool of a same network on this in, uh, router and our client was on the same network. Uh, both these uh, client server were on same network if uh, we have a server on different network on a remote area or any other place so in between there are many other network suppose this is an other network and this is a separate network so how uh, our IPs from the remote area uh, propagate and uh, come to these uh, clients so here we use a DHCP relay agent where we have a, a dcp server on a remote and uh, in between we have different network and uh, we use dcp relay agent which carry DAC, uh, ips from dcp server and give these ips to uh, dcp client so that's why we use dcp relay agent so let's see uh, what is the configuration of uh, dcp relay so first of all we have to uh, complete the layer 3 so i will go quickly so system view ipv6 ipv6 interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 on this interface on this interface 0 and ipv6 sorry ipv6 enable and ipv6 address would be 2001 1 and one sorry one double colon one and 64 would be the prefix and on that interface g001 on this interface we give the ipv6 address ipv6 enable and ipv6 address would be one two colon one and 64 so this would be the IP now we give the OSPF configuration on this router OSPF v3 one router ID would be 1.1.1.1 and I uh, we have made the uh, video on OSPF v3 you can go and watch and now we go in interface uh, g000 001 and here we give the OSPF v3 one and area 0 now we go in this interface this interface also give the ospf v3 1 and area 0 now we go on router 2 on this router and now here we also give the ip addresses system view ipv6 interface gigabit ethernet 0 slice 0 slice 0 and ipv6 enable ipv6 address would be uh, 1 colon 2 double colon 2 and 64 here we give the 1 2 double colon 1 and on this interface on this interface we give double colon 2 and we also uh, run ospf v3 1 and the router id a uh, router id is optional but it's uh, good to give the router id so now we go in interface gigabit ethernet 0 slice 0 slice 0 and ospf v3 1 and area 0 now we can ping these two router with each other this router with this interface as well as this interface let's ping and ensure the connectivity ping ipv6 ipv6 1 colon 2 double colon 1 okay it's reachable this interface is reachable let's one double colon sorry one double colon sorry so uh, it's reachable now we uh, configure uh, here dhcp server we make a dhcp server of this network so this network is what is on this interface display this display this 
display this on this interface there is this address uh, 2001 colon one double colon one so this is the network so this is the gateway and uh, this would be the network so uh, we make a DHCP pool and where we give the this network IP address here in this pool and this pool is uh, one network beyond because here is a second network so DHCP server uh, is on this router so we create a DHCP server so we have a same command uh, DHCP enable JCP JCP v6 v6 server pool JCP if you question mark so you can give a command pool pool name pool name uh, pool one and here we give the address prefix 2001 one double colon and here we have to give the slash 64 is a prefix so this is the uh, network for the uh, pool which is this and uh, here we have to uh, if you want to give the DNS server name so you can also give the DNS server IP so one colon four 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 sorry four 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 and double colon one okay this is the DNS server so I I have uh, just write here one because we are using one uh, this pool so uh, you have also have to give the exclude IP address because uh, on this interface we also give the uh, already give the IP address of this network so we want to exclude this IP address because uh, we don't want a conflict so exclude address would be okay this address one and now we go in interface of this interface and here we give the IP pool global IP pool so first of all we give in 0 slash 0 slash 0 and DHCP v6 server and here we give the pool name pool 1 so we give the pool one name and let's see either we get IP address or not IP config sorry IP config so there is no IP address on this client so we have to use the relay agent which pick the IP address on this from this router and bypass this network and give this client to IP address now we have to configure the relay agent on this interface of router now we go in this interface first of all we have a command dhcp dhcp enable and now we go in interface g00 0 and uh, here we use jcp if you question mark jcp v6 if you question mark so relay so if you question mark so destination so you have to give the destination IP address so destination IP address is the IP address where you have you have configure your server and which destination you have you have configured your server so what is the destination IP address over server so our server destination IP address is this interface on this network this interface we configure our DICP server so it's not the uh, destination IP address of our, our server it's the destination IP of the server location so this is the DS, uh, destination IP so we have to give the destination IP to double column 2 okay here we configure the DHCP server so we have to check now either we receive IP address or not soon you will uh, receive the IP address so we have to use the IP config sorry IP config so soon we will get the IP address sorry system view jcp enable yes jcp already enable uh, so we go in this interface let's check either we get the ip address or not no we not get the ip address let's see uh, we have to give the command so first of all go in system view and save that 
just go and save all the configuration now we go in uh, on same interface system view interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 and here we use the dcp uh, remote id dcp sorry v6 remote id DSP, sorry insert it will insert the packet you can see here id insert id into dcp packet and you have to enable this configuration so just enable this configuration now uh, so let's see we receive the ip address or not so just wait for some second so it will uh, automatically give the ip address to pcs so after some time it will get uh, this behave like this after this command so just save this configuration previous configuration uh, after uh, before running this command uh, after running this command uh, this uh, server behave like this so if you save the command so you will uh, able to uh, turn on and off the uh, this uh, server so your configuration will not be lost so after some seconds you just go here and uh, just do the ip config so you get the uh, configuration if you not uh, uh, get the ip so don't be panicked so just wait for some second and just uh, uh, re uh, type that command and you will get the ip address so you can ping now let's see neighbor let's ping so it will yes it's reachable so now we ping three so yes it's reachable Uh, if you ping 4 so let's see it's reachable not yes it's reachable so let's now ping uh, uh, the uh, gateway yes gateway is also reachable so you can see here uh, this server is down so you can see it's behaving like this but its interface this gateway is reachable so this is the behavior of uh, this DHCP so don't be panic and uh, so you can see here so that's how uh, this is the configuration of uh, 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 DHCP v6 relay agent using relay agent so that's all about today's video if you have uh, any questions so you can ask in comments so thank you very much